All right, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So I actually was not planning on filming this video just now because I just finished filming my monthly favorites for you guys, but I figured that this would be a really good time to review a product that has had so much hype lately. If you guys have a Facebook, you probably have been seeing this little brush go viral. There's kind of like a video. There's a lot of different companies that sell this brush. There's a whole bunch of different names for it. The one that I got is called the Appleus, and I got it off of Amazon for just around $30 with free shipping. So I have tried this one time on my sister's hair, which I am going to include a little clip for you guys, but I figured that I'm gonna review it today on my channel using it on my hair, even though I do have pin straight hair naturally. But my hair has been up in this bun all day long, and when I take it out, it's gonna basically be a hot mess. So I wanna see what kind of magic this brush is going to work on um, hot mess hair. Let's show you guys what I'm talking about. So um, yeah, it's just, it's not looking very good right now. It's uh, definitely on the frizzy side. It kinda has a little bit of a wave going on right now since it has been up in a bun all day long today. So I kinda wanna see before I jump into my shower, I figured I would just play around a little bit and see what this brush is gonna do on this mess. All right, so I do off the bat want to just get this thing heated up. So I already have it plugged in. I'm gonna press the power button. So you guys can see that it's heating up pretty fast. It heats up all the way to 450 degrees, so I'm going to allow it to heat up all the way. This is what the front of the brush looks like right here, and it's actually not like bendable, like a typical hairbrush. So they do recommend that you go ahead and brush all the tangles out of your hair before you start combing away with this little guy right here. I did also burn myself while I was testing this out on my sister's hair, so not the little red guys right here. That's not what really gets hot, but Underneath that back ceramic plate gets really really hot actually really easy to get your fingers back there and burn yourself So definitely be careful. All right, so I definitely do feel it getting hot already and right now It's at 250 and it's only been heating up for like 30 seconds So I'm gonna put this back here. I guess yeah, I'm gonna put it like face up while it's heating up I'm going to put on my keratin smooth Tresemme heat protectant spray and I'm just going to brush out any tangles Oh, right in the face. Instructions do actually say to section out your hair, but I feel like the whole point of getting a hairbrush straightener is to kind of not have to bother with sectioning out your hair, so ain't nobody got time for that. What I will do is just grab two big sections. I will put one on this side of my head, and I will work on um, one side at a time. I can already let you guys know off the bat that I'm pretty sure that this is not gonna be good for people with very, very tight curls because it is going to be extremely difficult to get to the root or the top of your hair. I feel like for me, the majority of my straightening or where I wanna kind of smooth and polish my hair is kind of from the cheek length or from my cheekbones down so I don't have to worry about getting into the root of my hair. But this is a very hard brush and it probably would hurt to comb on your scalp. So that's something that I already have to say off the bat. All right, and the brush is almost ready. Okay, there, it's at 450. I, it feels very hot, like I have it very close to my face right now and I feel the heat radiating off of it so it's definitely good to go. Okay, so let's test this baby out. Uh, See how I'm gonna get this in frame. I'm kind of just standing up on my chair and uh, I might speed this up, I might not, let's see. Hmm, one pass there, I actually did kind of take down the frizz. Let's see if I just kind of take a bigger chunk of hair. I mean, for me, this is something that I think would be very, very convenient in the morning especially for my hair type because I don't have really, really tight curls or anything like that. When I flat iron my hair, I basically do it to get the, um, the frizziness out of my hair. So far, really, really good, wow. It did take almost all the frizz out of my hair. Hold on, let's do a few more passes. Wow, that worked like amazingly well. All right, let's do something with this side. Ugh. Oh, this is, this is an awkward position. Oh, 
You guys, I have to say that I am pretty gosh darn surprised right here. Um, this all took under a minute. And yes, I have a very thin hair type. It's, it's not very, it doesn't have a lot of texture to it. So I don't think that the typical person will be able to um, do their hair as fast as I was able to. But honestly, if you just kind of want to get a little bit of frizz out of your hair and just polish the ends a little bit, I think it's definitely a great, great tool for that. Um, very quickly, I'm going to roll the footage of what I did last night with my sister Melanie where we tested it out on her hair type. She has more of a very thick hair type. Uh, how many times am I going to say that? And her hair type is naturally curly. Ow! See? I just burned myself. Definitely something that you should be paying attention while you're doing, but let's go ahead and roll that footage. All right, so we just straightened this side. Did not take long at all. And Mel has like really, really thick, 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 wavy hair. So this side, I don't know, it took like three minutes to straighten. So I don't know if the thing is gonna stretch over because I have the cord. Um, Maybe Mel can move, yeah, there you go. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see this. Her hair's not like freshly cleaned right now, so it doesn't look that okay. great at the top. <laughs> just just being top. honest. <laughs> I just... But um, this is how it works. I don't think I'm gonna speed this up so you guys can see it in like real time. Real time. So I'm just picking up the hair like a little bit off of her back because it gets really hot and you can burn yourself. You can burn your hand and you can burn your back. The inside of the brush gets hot. And just lie down. You know, for people that don't want super straight hair, there you go. All right, so that section is just about done. And then she has like one more chunk here. You can see like her natural little waves. All right, and that is in like under five minutes. Man, we should have got it before clip. I didn't even think to do that, but not bad. All right, guys, and there you go. I guess that the hype is real. I do have to say that my hair is completely tangled up in this brush now, which is not the best thing. The brush is also smoking a little bit, so it's probably not the best made item. I do think that these come shipped from China or something like that, but not saying that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I did go ahead and purchase mine on Amazon. Um, I will leave the link down below. Nothing is sponsored. I went and bought this with my own money because I saw a lot of hype on Facebook and I honestly was just interested to see if it was something that really worked or if those viral videos were kind of like fake. And I have to say that it does work. It really does work. That's so cool. I am pleasantly surprised. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.